The internet is a giant network. It connects billions of computers all over the world. Think of it like a massive web of roads. But instead of cars, these roads carry information. This information travels very fast, almost at the speed of light. It allows a person in Japan to talk to someone in Brazil instantly. It lets a student in India access a library in the United States. This connection is always on. It works day and night. It has changed how we live. It has changed how we work. It has changed how we play in ways we could not imagine just a few decades ago. It is one of the most important inventions in human history. Why does this matter so much? The internet is more than just technology. It is a place for sharing ideas. It is a tool for learning new things. It is a stage for creativity. It is a marketplace for business. Before the internet, sending a letter could take weeks. Getting news from another country was slow. Now, information spreads across the globe in seconds. We can see live events happening on the other side of the planet. We can order food. We can buy clothes. We can watch movies without leaving our homes. The internet puts the world at our fingertips, making it a smaller, more connected place for everyone. This vast network was not built by one person. It was created by many people working together over many years. It started as a small project for scientists and the military. They wanted a way to share information securely. They needed a system that could still work even if part of it was damaged. This idea of a strong decentralized network was the seed from which the modern internet grew. It was a collaborative effort. Different teams in different places added their own pieces to the puzzle. Their combined work built the powerful tool we use every single day. One of these people was a man named Vannevar Bush. In 1945, he wrote about a device he called the Memex. He imagined it as a desk that could store books, records, communications, a user could quickly find any piece of information. More importantly, they could link different pieces of information together. This idea of linking documents was a seed for what would later become the World Wide Web. In the middle of the Cold War, the US military wanted a communication system that could survive an attack. A single central point was a weakness. If it was destroyed, the whole network would fail. They needed a decentralized network. Information could travel along many different paths. If one path was blocked, the information could simply find another way. The project was led by a man named Robert Taylor at ARPA. He was frustrated because he had three different computer terminals in his office. To use a different computer, he had to get up and move to a different terminal. He thought, this is silly. Why can't we have one terminal that connects to all of them? at the University of California, Los Angeles. They installed the first node, a small computer called an Interface Message Processor, or IMP. A team led by Leonard Kleinrock was there. The second node was installed at the Stanford Research Institute. On October 29, 1969, they tried to send